back. A new test is preventing heart attacks and strokes nationwide. Cardio Risk Laboratories developed the test. Their headquarters is right here in Utah. Fox 13's Ben Winslow has more. Ultrasound has been around for 30, 50 so, years, right? But Cardio Risk has innovated that ultrasound, that B-mold ultrasound to uh, image the carotid arteries so that we can see atherosclerosis long before, uh, hopefully in time to treat it medically instead of surgically. The test is called carotid intima media, or CIMT. It's a non-invasive way of predicting your risk of heart attack or stroke. It's like a plaque on a tooth. You don't ever see plaque on a single tooth. If you have a plaque on one tooth, you have it in your whole mouth. This is the same kind of concept, that if you find plaque here in the carotid arteries, you're going to find it systemically. The test shows if you have atherosclerosis or a hardening of the arteries. It's a disease that doesn't just creep up overnight. It takes decades to develop. Atherosclerosis is, is the disease process that accounts for approximately 70% of heart attacks and strokes. And with the cardiorisk INT test, we can see atherosclerosis in its earliest stages, again, so that we don't have to have people killing over dead in a parking lot. And as with most ailments, the key is to get treated early. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and, and that uh, adage uh, is certainly true as it relates to our arteries. The test is $250 and is covered by most insurance companies. It works just like an ultrasound. So we're simply going to put a transducer or a probe on the neck with a little uh, conductive jelly. And uh, again, it's no pain. It's, it's just a very simple procedure. When we're done, we wipe the gel off and, and you walk away. The images are sent to their offices in South Jordan and sent back to the doctor and patient within two to five days. The test is recommended for those over 45 or anyone with two or more risk factors, including high cholesterol, smoking, being overweight, or having diabetes. Heart attacks and strokes kill more people than the next three leading causes of death combined. So you take all car accidents, all forms of cancer, you add them together, uh, cardiovascular events kill more people every year than all of those combined. Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah. And if atherosclerosis is caught early, it can usually be treated with lifestyle changes and medication. The test is recommended by the American Heart Association. And for more information, you can go to fox13now.com. A man in Utah.